I saw a tweet. I wish every pet owner would release an album of songs they make up for their pets. <laughs> and I thought, how did you know? <laughs> well, they must have a pet. <laughs> so do you have songs for your pets that you make up? I do, mm-hmm. as a matter of fact. <laughs> I know you have very sing-songy ways of calling them. Yeah, I have one for each if you want. Okay, so you have two cats. I do. Leo. Uh-huh. Who I refer to as Chubba Lumpkins. Yes. And he is Coco. Very she is Skinny Stiltson. Uh huh. And then Rango, the terrible Chihuahua. He's not <laughs> terrible. He's my good sweet boy. <laughs> All right. So yeah. let's start with Leo. Okay. So Leo, he's a big old crybaby and he loves to be held. So he'll let you know by screaming at you. Mm-hmm. So it's sometimes to sort of satisfy him until I can pick him up, I'll go, Hi, my name is Leo and I like to cry. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Very nice. It's nice, right? So you kind of sing back to him as I, he's I meowing do. at you. Yeah, I sing back the song of his people. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and then there's Coco, who I refer to as Coquita Mi Morcita Yeda Goyal. But Yeda sometimes Goyal. I'll go, Yeda Goyal. Yes. <laughs> yeah. That's the one So I it'll know. be more, Coquita Mi Morcita Yeda Goyal. And she will yeah. most of the time come running. <laughs> oh, she loves it. Yeah. Yeah, that's how she knows. Uh-huh. Um, and then there's Rango. Who, <laughs> I don't really call Rango. I So I started calling him my little beanie baby, which got shortened to beanie, which got shortened to bean. Uh, and then he broke his penis a while ago. Yes. So then it changed to beanus penis. It was a few episodes <laughs> back. So now I now I call him Senorito Venus Penis. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And I guarantee he's going to come running into the studio after hearing that. Uh-huh. He'll think it's time for a T R E A T. <laughs> yes, he will. Yeah. He will. <laughs> yeah. But anyway. That's so cute. It's kind of funny. <laughs> so I um I have two songs. Uh-huh. The first one was when I um clean out the litter box. Mm-hmm. I would say, Hey, ask me what's in this <laughs> to one of my kids. And uh they'd say, What's in it? <laughs> and I said, It's a big old bag of pee and poo. And they had to, it was sort of a call and response. They would have to say, for me and you? For me and you. They'd have to be I as excited you were like the worst. about it as I was. And then I wanted to make treat time special right at six o'clock or whenever right. I got done with my real estate stuff. Right. The grumpy guys say, well, you, the big dog's got to eat first. You're supposed to eat before you tr- feed your animals. Yeah. But I don't want them up in my business while I'm cooking. Right. So I would always feed the cats tuna before making dinner. Right. And I'd always make it a big production so they knew damn well mm-hmm. that was tuna time. This is happening. It's happening right now. <laughs> it's going down. Yeah. And We're then when it's done, tuna. it's done. Yeah. And you've seen me use hand signals like, no more. Yes, which Rango has gotten really good about. Yeah. Yeah. And that that means no more chicken, buddy. Mm-hmm. When I'm tearing apart that Costco chicken. Mm-hmm. By the way, so you know Costco chickens are $4.99? Right. R- they're rotisserie chickens. Uh-huh. I just noticed this at the other day. Sam's has them for four ninety eight. Ooh. Beat that, Costco. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Let's get in a de-escalation. Let's get in a deflation <laughs> war. Yeah, I like that. Anti-McDonald's style. Hot. Anyway, so I Hot would like a rotisserie chicken. <laughs> Sorry, yeah. go ahead. I would jiggle the tuna packet because mm-hmm. I buy the packets because there's so much more. Thank you, inventor of the tuna packet. <laughs> more convenient than opening a can. Okay, I do love keeping a couple of tuna packets in my purse in case I get hungry. Quick protein. Mm-hmm. Well, and they have all these great flavors now. Yeah, yeah. The little tuna creations. Uh, yeah, they ranch rule. and barbecue and oh, I'll, oh, the the spicy. The sweet spicy chili, Thai chili. Oh, wow. Oh, that one's really good, too. That seems, yeah. It's, but also no, you it's like, great. You and Jesse both like those warm tuna melts. I do love a tuna melt. I think they're just good. <sighs> Hot tuna. <laughs> anyway, I would say, I'd flap the tuna packet and go, it's howdy tuna time. It's howdy tuna time. <laughs> That's cute. And and then I, I don't remember the rest of the rhyme, but... Mm-hmm. I would. I think I would change it. I was like, I gotta record this once. Yeah, you you would change it up every time. Every time, because I sang it with you a few times, and I would also help you change up the lyrics. Right. Yeah. I think one time you sang, "Aren't you so glad that I'm making up this rhyme?" Yeah, or something, something like, like that. <laughs> I was just like, "Damn, she got it already." Yeah. <laughs> Aren't you glad that I'm doing some tuna time? 
Something like that. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, what songs do you sing to your pets? <laughs> Ooh, I'm so excited to hear about that. <laughs> There's a TikTok <laughs> bit for you. Right? Corey Ray. Yeah. You know what? I saw another um, TikTok bit, too, of this girl holding her dog, and she's like, look, I get that it annoys people when people talk to their pets weird, but we have to do it, because yeah. otherwise they don't know, unless we talk like this, you know, because, like, they don't know. They don't understand English. Right. Yeah, so you got to put on a silly little voice so that your silly little friend knows that you're saying a silly little thing to they them. They know you're communicating with them. Yeah. 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 